Let's learn about rounding with a vertical number line. We'll start with the number 28. We're going to round this to the nearest 10. We'll need to find between what two tens is 28. If you count by tens, 10, 20, 30, you'll see that 28 must fall between 20 and 30 on the number line. Now you just need to find the midpoint. What's halfway between 20 and 30? You can count by ones and find that. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 is the midpoint between 20 and 30. Now we just need to decide where we're going to place our 28. Where would 28 fall? It would have to be around here somewhere. Because it would go 25, 26, 27, 28. So 28 would be about here on our number line. Now when we look at it, we can tell that 28 is a lot closer to 30 than it is to 20. So we would round 28, when rounded to the nearest 10, would be 30. Let's try another one. Here's 732. We're going to round this to the nearest 100. We'll have to decide between what two hundreds is 732. If you count by hundreds, it would go 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. 732 would fall somewhere between 700 and 800. Now we need to find the midpoint. What would be halfway between 700 and 800? If you count by tens, you can find it. 700, 710, 720, 730, 740, 750. 750 would be halfway between 700 and 800. Now let's decide where we're going to place 732 on our number line. When we were counting by tens, we said 730 was about here on the number line. So 732 would be a lot closer to 700 than it would be to 800. So we would round 732 to 700. Now let's try one with a much larger number. We have 548,253. We're going to round that to the nearest 10,000. So when we're looking at this number, we're going to have to find out which digit is in the 10,000's place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So the 4 is in the 10,000's place. I need to know between what two 10,000's this number would fall. So I kind of need to know how many 10,000's I have. If I look at this in unit form, I would see that I have 54 ten thousands. 54 ten thousands. So this number would fall between 54 ten thousands and 55 ten thousands. But when we round, we probably need to look to see how many thousands we have. If we read this number, it would be 548 thousand. That's how many thousands I have in this number. How many whole thousands? I have 548 thousands. So I need to find where this would fall on this number line. So I might need to know how many thousands are in 54 ten thousands. It would be 540 thousands. If I was reading this number, 548,000, 540 thousands. Look for that relationship. So now I need to know how many thousands are in 55 ten thousands. It would be 550 thousands. 
if you were reading that number. 550 thousands. So my 548 thousands is going to fall somewhere between these two amounts. I need to find the midpoint between 540,000 and 550,000. I could count by thousands. 540,000, 541,000, 542,000, 543,000, 544,000, 545 thousands. Now I need to decide where I would put 548 thousands on this number line. It would go about here. 548 thousands. So that's showing me that this number is closer to 55 ten thousands or 550 thousands, much closer than it would be to 540 thousands or 54 ten thousands. So I would round to this number. Now all I have to do is be able to write this number, which is the same as this number, in standard form. 550,000.